Hello, we're here to reveal your Championship Manager of the season. Pascal, there's seven names on this list from both ends of the table, really. Who stood out for you? I think, well, my number one choice, person who I voted for, was Chris Hewton. I mean, I know Brighton missed out on the last day of the season, you know, not being able to win at Middlesbrough there, but I mean, considering what they, where Brighton were last season, I think they were down in about 20th place last season, after they had had, you know, two years in the playoffs, and they've really turned it around this season. The, the run of form they went on before, uh, you know, not being able to go up there was really good. All those wins they had. Uh, getting right back up into the automatic promotion race. Unlucky, you know, not to go up in the end, I think. But, I mean, we've got Karanka and Dyche there, you know, the two managers who did go up automatically. But I think Brighton, when you compare, you know, Burnley obviously only just coming down last season, Borough losing in the playoff final last season, they really were expected to be up there, those two teams. I think Brighton have been the surprise team uh, in the top six. I think he's done fantastically. And the other name I mentioned is Neil Warnock, just how dramatic Rotherham's turnaround has been uh, since he came in. You know, they look dead and buried, really. They've beat relegation by quite a long way in the end and he's done superbly there at Rotherham's really really good job and going back to Brighton obviously there was that huge game on the mm. final day Middlesbrough versus Brighton the winner uh, went up and well, Brighton so he needed to beat Middlesbrough mm. Karanka obviously came out on top in that one in the end what have you made of him? I think he's been, I think he's been really good yeah especially obviously after this season he almost left in he? was problems he looked like he was almost you know almost certain to leave and I think that had been a real shame after the work he's done there behind the scenes tightening up obviously he's got some good players at the back there I think he's got some very solid players obviously being in the likes of down in experienced players like that grant led bitter in midfields obviously nice and solid as well obviously brought in rose as well up front who's 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 contributed you know he, there was question marks whether he can do it in the premier league we're, we're not too sure whether that'd be the case but i think karanka i don't think middlesbrough is necessarily the easiest club to manage that part of the world that part of the country sorry with the likes of newcastle and sunderland up there and big expectations but i'd worry about them if they're in the playoffs because i think it'd been a massive disappointment and they miss out i'm not sure whether they better raise themselves but karanka i would be surprised if karanka wasn't wasn't certainly one or two in this in this list and Sean Dyche is also up there, obviously championship uh, winner. He guided the Burnley to the the title, which you know they really wanted to do this season after missing out on the title last time they went up. Down at the other end of the table, Simon Grayson done a fantastic job with uh, Preston. I say the other end of the table, obviously came up last season, but ended up at mid table. Really good job there. And Lee Johnson of Bristol City. What have you made of those two? Yeah, I think well Grayson. Yeah, I think Preston. They they came up. I mean, they missed out. It was so gutting for them when they missed out on automatic promotion uh, in League One last season. They did so well in the playoffs, just breezed through the playoffs. I think. Uh, it was like 4-1 and 4-0 in the semi-finals and in the final. Uh, they just so, did so well in those two games. And they, they've just looked really solid all season, Preston. Never quite been able to string together enough form to push really towards the playoffs, but they've never been in danger either. I mean, they started a little slowly, but since about sort of October time, they've been mid-table, very, very solid. And yeah, Lee Johnson, he's come in, obviously came in from uh, Barnsley down in League One, and he's done a really good job with Bristol City, keeping them up, but just not quite as dramatic as Warnock. They've sort of come in and done similar jobs, but you'd say what Warnock done, uh, it's really impressive. The only name we haven't mentioned there is Carlos Carvajal, uh, another new foreign manager to the championship. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, they've spent a bit of money, to be fair, they've got this new owner in and have spent a bit of money, like quite a few of the other teams that have managed to get into the playoffs. But uh, Carvajal certainly stood out, just turning Wednesday from, they've been a middling sort of club for a couple of years now, and they're now in with a real shout of going up. So quite a few good contenders here, Matt. Do you want to reveal the winner? All right, so in third place we have Chris Hewton with 12% of the votes. Second place, Sean Dyche, 32% of the votes. And the winner, probably not too surprisingly, is Arto Karenko of Middlesbrough, 41%. So it's the top three in the league. Pascal, what do you make of those results? Yeah, it's no surprise. They're top three in the league. Obviously, um, they, they must have done a really good job to get those uh, to get the teams where they are on the table. I mean, I'm surprised. You know, maybe people haven't recognised the job that Warnock did there because it was just so you know so dramatic where they were from to, to where they finished in the tables. He's done such a good job. The teams they beat as well. Some of the results they got were just really really good. And uh, yeah, but apart from that, the top three is not too surprising. I mean, I would have had Hewton in first just because of uh, the turnaround Brighton have had. But Karank has been a very good manager in the championship now for a couple of years. Like Matt. Was talking about he's had his problems and in some games he really seems to lose his head and gets really frustrated uh, with certain things but I think maybe that's the fire he's got in him that maybe helps Middlesbrough and it'll be really interesting to see uh, how he copes in the Premier League next year. Yeah Matt of those top two obviously Sean Dyes has Premier League experience mm -hmm. who do you think is uh, better equipped to, to uh, it's difficult. I thought you, like you mentioned, I think Sean Dyche obviously has that experience of, of knowing that level, and he's probably a bit more. I think uh, recruitment's going to be important this summer, bringing in certain players that are going to fit the Premier League. But saying that, Arthur Karanka obviously he, he's got knowledge of other leagues, and he'll be able to source from his uh, sources obviously at Real Madrid teams like that, and bring players to the club. Hopefully, maybe from Real Madrid B, the Castilla side. And it certainly will be, like Pascal said, very interesting to see how he performs in the Premier League because if things start to go wrong very quickly, you wonder about his temperament. But certainly will be interesting, yeah, to see how they fare. Okay, so Aita Karenka is your Championship Manager of the Season.